Hey, so here is our field trip from Home Depot. Now there are, I think three or four different clips in this video, um, each at very different times. <laughs> so it's not in chronological order, I do apologize. Um, we had two dogs, uh, Frankie in the back and then obviously Oliver in the front, um, but we also practiced switching handlers. So. I worked with Oliver and then Ashley, our other trainer, worked with Oliver. So two different handlers, two different expectations. Um, well, same expectations, but different uh, executions of those expectations um, to help Oliver learn. It's not always with this one person, but it's whoever is holding my leash. Um, when we first walked in, we got what we expected, which was a little nervousness. But as we were walking, he really opened up. He got a lot more comfortable. Um he really was like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. Now, we do like to work um, on like in hand, like the leash is in hand, and then we also do belt leash. I love the belt leash um, because what it does is it removes the extra communication that we as humans do with our arms, with our nervousness, with like guessing and judging. And it's it just simplifies the communication between dog and owner. Um, but he has to listen and understand tension and release. That is something that we'll go over in our one on one. But look how good he is doing going through like the garden center where there's a lot of sensory things. Um, he really did well. We also did some place work throughout this. Um, so I'll hop on at different times just to explain what's going on. But otherwise, much better the second time we did this field trip. So here you can see we're working on um, our place command. Now, Frankie's in front, Oliver's in back. Um, this was right by the pro construction uh, checkout exit. So a lot of big carts, a lot of dudes, um, a lot of loud noises. And so you can see where he's like, I don't know about this. Um, I apologize when Frank does <laughs> take up the space. Um, but he settled. He still kind of did the creep around and look around, but he gave some good calming signals while we were doing this. Um, and he was interested in what Frankie was doing. He was interested in what I was doing with Frankie, but he was also focusing on Ashley. Like occasionally he'd check in with her and like, hey, what's going on? But this is what we want. And then this is where we practiced um, walking against another dog. So Oliver does struggle with some of that impulse, um, saying hi to another dog. And this is where not only was I coaching Ashley, but also coaching Oliver on, you know, how do you get his attention like right there? And he chooses to not look at the dog or chooses to look to the human versus going after what his impulse control is. Um, and the difference of how our bodies play a part in that, what the leash communication is. Um, so right there, not so good. <laughs> So this is something that we're working on so that Oliver understands not only, hey, this is what's happening, but um, I also am coaching Ashley on what the different techniques are.
And then this was um, us doing our decompression walks. We did just kind of zigzag loopies through Home Depot so he would calm and be settled um, and really working on sensory things. So the beeping of the machines, the sensories, uh, smells, um, people coming out and grabbing materials, all that type of stuff. But he did really well.